they started changing how they're going to do the profit loss calculation. So, in addition to simple profit loss calculations, Wiremost production teams were given new scoreboard consisting of some simple quantitative performance indicators. Productivity of product team expressed in sales per employee. Customer service expressed as a percent of products delivered on time. Inventory turns and quality expresses a number of mistakes made by the team. The team leaders and their teams can see these indicators at all times because they are predominantly posted. In addition, the two primary ways to improve are obvious. First, smooth the flow of products through the system with no backflows for reworking quality problems, no scrap, and no in-process inventories. Then make only those products customers actually want because productivity is measured at end-of-market sales, not additions to in-process inventories per employee. To keep every mar everyone marching at the same pace, Wirebolt equips the scoreboard with a set of expectations as well. Specifically, team leaders and their teams are expected to, one, reduce defects as shown in the quality indicator by 50% every year. Two, improve productivity expressed as sales per employee It consists constant dollars by 20% per year. Deliver 100% of products exactly on time. Increase inventory turns to a minimum of 20 per year. Increase profit sharing to 20%. Variance analysis is still performed, but not based on variances from standard cost. Instead, when the trend line starts to diverge from performance targets, the team collectively searches for the root cause of the variance rather than maneuvering to make numbers as the old days. So again, it's not to make an inventory number. We're looking why. So if the, if the indicator's not going in the right direction, we got to find out why. Is, what's causing that? Not to say, well, that's the way it is. You know, the only thing that that's the way it is is the weather that we can't change. Everything that we're doing here at work, we can't change. We can't change the weather, that's just something that happens. But when we see indicators going the wrong way, there's something causing it. And if they're going in the right way, there's something causing that. We have to ask that every day. What went well? If it went in the right direction, what went well so we could try and adapt that other places? Okay.